Hey guys, welcome to Glitchy Toots. Today we will learn the switch and pan transition in Adobe After Effects. Let's jump straight into it. We will begin with our clips aligned next to each other. Let us first add the effect as Switch 3D. This requires a Sapphire plugin. I will link it below if you don't have it, so you may download it. Also, don't forget to enable the motion blur. We will start with the transition for the first clip. Move the playhead one frame before the end of the clip. There are so many different values in this effect, but you need not worry, you only need to change a few. First, let's start by setting swivel to 60. Make sure you set perspective amount to 0.25. Then set the fed mid time to its maximum value which is 1. We will be animating the Y percent. Click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe. You wanna move 15 frames back, then add another keyframe. You need to set the Y percent to 99, then move the keyframe to the end of the clip. Easy ease the keyframes and animate the value graph like so. Copy and paste the effect into the second clip. Add time reverse to the keyframes for Y percent by right clicking on the keyframes, then navigate to keyframe assistant and select time reverse. Change swivel from 60 all the way to negative 60 and make sure your graph is all good. This is how the transition will look. You may have to adjust some settings to improve the final look. For example, reducing the Y percent on both clips from 99 to 90. This will make your transition a little less harsh. You can also reduce the motion blur from 1 to 0 0.5. This puts more emphasis on the transition and not the blur. You can also adjust the value graph as well. There are several versions of this transition and these are done by moving the center XY location. If the first clip has the center on the right, then the second clip should have the center on the left. If the first clip has the center at the top, then the second clip will have the center at the bottom. And now that we've come to an end, I just wanna say thank you for watching and spending your time trying to learn from my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and enable notifications so that you don't miss any updates. That being said, I will see you guys in the next video.